So, this is my last week of training before my meet. I've been training for this meet since January. Well, actually, a little bit last two weeks of December is when I started. I was supposed to compete April 10th, but that meet roster filled up by February, so I wasn't able to sign up for it, so I had to sign up for one in May. Uh, two weeks ago, I tore my pec. Uh, I felt three pop, two to three pops on this side, and I'm not even sure if that's healed up yet. Well, this is my last training week. I was like, just don't get hurt. Make it through. Cut everything down to 50% besides your main movements. So that's what I was doing. I was cutting everything down to 50% so I don't overwork or strain or, or, or tweak anything. I got sick like two weeks ago, and I got loose bowels, and I dehydrated really bad. I've been drinking Pedialyte and doing everything I can to get my hydration back and still been eating what I'm supposed to be eating and doing everything else. Deep tissue, body tempering, massages, um, contrast baths, you know, everything I could do to rehab and keep from getting injured. Tonight I was squatting 405, my last, my last set of squats. And I went down on my on my rep and I didn't even make it a quarter and then my left groin pop I felt a pop a real nasty pop and this is the same groin that I tore on Thanksgiving and I got pictures of that I'll put them in right here so that happened Thanksgiving and it's May. Well, it's April, April 19th. So it's been what five months? No, five, six months, almost half a year. So it's like, ah, it's good. But my right groin was the one that I was worried about. My left groin is the one that, that gave out tonight. So now I possibly have a torn pec with no bruising. So hopefully it's not torn, it was just strained. I'll find out Wednesday if I'll be able to even bench heavy. And now I have a possible torn groin. And it hurts to stand, it hurts to walk, it hurts to move, it hurts to put pressure on it. So, I don't know how bad it is, but I know it's bad enough to be uncomfortable to do anything. And right now, it's just throbbing away. Can't even deadlift right now. I tried doing deadlifts with 185, and I just, the, the, the pressure was too much. So, I have done everything. Like, I got hurt four years ago in my groin, and then again, and then again. And it's just like, I cannot, for the life of me, to get this thing to heal up. And every time I think I have a good training cycle and everything's going good and I push it over three something, 365, nothing but bad stuff happens. Like it's like my, my groin is like brittle. It's so brittle and so disappointing. I want a 1500 pound total in the meat and I want a 700 pound deadlift. That, that's, that's what my goal has always been. And every single time I think I'm going to be able to go to a meet, something happens. Something tears, something like I get hurt. Or some like elemental thing, a hurricane or a freeze or a COVID or something happens and I'm not able to go. And it's just so depressing. I've already booked an Airbnb for May 1st in Lubbock, Texas, which is eight hours away from where I live in Houston. So that's already $300 spent. The meat was $100. And then the membership was another $70. So that's $470, almost $500 I've already committed to go into this meet. If I just have to squat the bar, I'm going to squat the bar. I'm going to go to this meet. I don't care how light I lift. I'm going to go to this meet. I just like competing. And after this, I think I'm just going to start doing the deadlifts. I'm just going to start focusing on my deadlift and get a 700 pound deadlift. I'm not going to put so much work on my squat because every I've tried doing low bar. I tore it. Tried doing high bar. I tore it. Try doing any kind of bar besides like a safety squat bar, a camber bar, belt squat, leg press, all that. I'm great. I could go four or 500 pounds on those for reps, man. They feel great. But I put a barbell on my back for whatever reason, just a straight bar, and things go horrible for me. But I guess that's life. So I am going to compete still. I'm going to go. And for those of you that are interested, we'll see how it goes.